Simplify the rate of cans of soda compared to people. So this ratio here says that we have 92 cans of soda for every 28 people. What we want to do is simplify this, and really just putting this ratio or this fraction in simplest form. So the best way to do that is just to figure out what is the largest number or the largest common factor of both 92 and 28, and divide both of these numbers by that common factor. So let's figure out what it is. And to do that, let's just take the prime factorization of 92, and then we'll do the prime factorization of 28. So 92 is 2 times 2 times 46, which is 2 times 23. And 23 is a prime number, so we're done. 92 is 2 times 2 times 23. And then if we did the prime factorization of 28, 28 is 2 times 14, which is 2 times 7. So we could rewrite, I'll, well, I'll leave the cans of soda. So we could rewrite the 92 cans of soda as 2 times 2 times 23 cans of soda, cans of soda for every for every, let me write the people, for every 2 times 2 times 7 people. Now, both of these numbers have a 2 times 2 in it, or they're both divisible by 4. That is their greatest common factor. So let's divide both the top number and the bottom number by 4. So if you divide the top number by 4, or if you divide it by 2 times 2, it will cancel out right over there. And then if you do the bottom number divided by 4, or 2 times 2, it will cancel out with that 2 times 2. And we are left with 23 cans of soda for every 7 people, or 7 people for every 23 cans of soda. And we're done. We've simplified the rate of cans, or the ratio of cans, of soda compared to people. I guess they're considering this a rate. So maybe they're saying, how quick, quickly do 7 people consume uh, cans um, over some period? But, you know, or you can view it as a ratio.